K-State head coach Chris Kleiman here with us now. Coach, I was thinking about it this morning, and I realized you're going into your six years as the head coach at K-State. You've now been the head coach at K-State longer than you were at North Dakota State. Is that kind of hard to believe? Yeah, it really is for me. Uh, there's a guy from Fargo here that we were talking about that. It's hard to believe that this is going on six years. But um, we're, we're excited about where the program's at and where it continues to grow to. And that's something when we came in, we were talking about could we elevate, could we make it better. Um, it's always had great tradition here at K-State. But um, – could our system and kind of the way we do things work and and it has worked and we've got a tremendous locker room our kids are are bought in and, and you, you look at the five kids that are here all range in different ages as well as um you know where they're from and um I, i'm excited about uh, the future as well yeah i mean I, I guess thinking about it outside of gundy who's been here for 100 years now i'm never gonna and, outlast Gundy. Yeah, never you, i don't even want to try you and you and neil brown are i think uh, yep. next in line right behind him yeah neil and i came in together um and uh, Neil's a good friend of mine. We're on a committee together. A tremendous amount of respect for Neil, and, and uh, uh, glad he had the big year last year. Now, I was going to bring up, maybe this is another sentimental type question, but what's it mean to you and then these guys in particular that now your two coordinators in year six are going to be Connor Riley and Joe Klanderman, yeah. guys that came with you from yeah. North Dakota State? Uh, they're, they've been so loyal um, to myself, to our program, to what we're doing, and I think that's probably the most important piece is um, Joe and Connor and I kind of grew up uh, in the same type of cultures and systems of how to build it and they they could run this thing just like I could run it because uh, they know what the expectations are and they know um, you know from on the field and off the field uh, how important character and integrity are and so uh, for those guys to be with me as long as they have it tells me an awful lot about uh, the quality of people that they are and and I know that they're impacting tons and tons of people in our program. It's also your it's your sixth year and again just more changes in the league and this season K State plays five teams and conference play that they haven't played before. So how do you prepare for that? Yeah, it's uh, made our coaches have a lot more work this summer as opposed to we always break down the new the new opponents and then maybe early season games. Well, we broke down our early season games and then we broke down five new opponents and they happen to all be pretty early anyway. Uh, and so, yeah, we spent a lot of time on Arizona, on Colorado, on BYU, on Cincinnati, uh, as well as Tulane and, and UTM. Uh, it's June is is become the busiest month where you're not playing games. And so between high school recruiting, between camps, and now all the games you have to break down, June's just crazy for our staff. So I was glad to get them away for a few weeks here in July. Uh, so this is probably the question that everybody's really interested in is how has Avery really progressed throughout the off season? Yeah, um, well, he continues to put on weight. Uh, he continues to get bigger and stronger. Uh, everybody knows how fast he is and what a great athlete he is. But uh, I just see the way he continues to evolve. We don't get around him enough in the summer. You know, we see him at workouts, but we don't get practices with him. Um, and, and so other than you know Wells visiting with him and stuff and just seeing how much more comfortable he is with our offense uh, I'm excited for the month of August because the kids that weren't here or injured and we had a number of those in spring ball that didn't get a chance to really work with Avery other than that month in December this month of August is going to be a lot of fun as far as you know just connecting timing and rhythm uh, with those new players. Now thinking about kind of the the way that things end up working and and where things go for you guys now uh no specifics needed obviously so we don't get you in trouble but you seem to have a lot of good momentum recruiting right now the state of kansas over the last few years in particular has been really good to you guys is the state producing more talent now at a quicker rate than it has in the past or are you guys just so much more ingrained into it that you can get the talent and identify it and it it's, kind of it yeah. shows it off to everybody else well we've always been committed to the state of kansas for sure and we're going to stay committed to the state of kansas um more and more other schools are recognizing the talent in the state um you guys need to have taylor brad on he'll talk about this for 10 hours um taylor does such a phenomenal job of building relationships with high school coaches um the amount of former players that we have uh, or former students that, that are teaching in those schools that advocate for us. And, and so, um, you know, it's, it's going to still be a priority for us and going to have to be a priority for us. A couple of Kansas guys that are going to be playing for you this year now. DJ Giddens coming back, had a really big year last year. 
Uh, and then you added Dylan Edwards, yep. transferring from Colorado. Uh, what is that dynamic like with those two guys, and what's it kind of been like assimilating Dylan into the program? Um, it's been great. Once again, with Dylan just getting here in June, other than watching him run around, and he's really fast. I mean, he can really roll. Um, but just – That'll be the month of August where we get a great chance to integrate him into the offense. There'll be a lot of times where we'll have both he and DJ on the field. Um, DJ, I think, is one of the best running backs in our league, um, and he's still going to get a lion's share of the load because he's he's getting better and better, and um, he's turned into a All American type player. Um, but I'm I'm excited about the different per, you know the different personnel packages, whether or not it's having both those running backs to you know Jace Brown. Everybody knows how he kind of came on last year and Keegan Johnson we got to keep Keegan healthy because I think he's one of the best um, receivers and and then you know Garrett Oakley he's got to pick up some of the the slack that we lost with with Ben Sennett so we've got a lot of people now we just got to pull them all together and have a really good month of August so we can get our timing down. Uh, what, what position do you think will be the biggest strength of this year's team? Um, you know we have more depth in the D line and secondary than we do any other spot so those two positions we have, you don't ever want to get anybody injured, but if you lost somebody, we have more depth there, uh, and we've focused on that. We've always been deep in the defensive line, but when we got Mott and Stuffelbean and Uso to all come back, um, that, that gave us tremendous depth, as well as all those young kids that are really good players. You know, the Chidi Obiizors and Jordan Allens, Ryan Davis and those guys, those kids are going to be really good players, uh, but allows us to maybe um, implement them a little bit slower. All right, I've got a couple of uh, quick hitters here for you. Uh, number one, we're obviously in Las Vegas, not Arlington this year. Yep. If you had a preference, would you have media days in Las Vegas or Arlington? It doesn't matter to me since this is my first experience in, in Allegiant. This is really cool. I'm, I, I used to be a Vegas guy all the time. And so being in and out here in a day, it really doesn't matter. But if I was going to stay a couple of nights, it would probably be better to do it here. So what's, what's your move in Vegas than if you were a Vegas guy? I'd be going to play golf somewhere, but I'd be playing early in the morning because it's friggin' scorching. It, very it's hot, hot right now. All right, well, that was going to be my <laughs> other question. How is the golf game right now? Um, it's, it's it's a little slow right now. We've not been able to play as much. I'm hoping this next couple weeks I can get out there f- five or six times. It's just uh, the month of June was long, and uh, it <laughs> kind of spilled over into July a little bit. Okay, then the other one that I have for you that is definitely not a serious question at all is uh, obviously you can see that the EA Sports college football game is a big deal. I'm sure it's a big deal to a lot of your players. How big of a deal is it to you? I did not know that it was going to be out here until the guys were talking about it on the plane out here. I'm interested to see it um, because I haven't seen the college version for how many years right so um i know our guys are excited about it i'm interested to to take a look at it i probably won't be playing it a whole lot but i'm interested to watch over somebody's shoulder for a little bit i was gonna say i I imagine your kids played it growing up. they did all the time you bet all the time did you ever get in on it never did I never did. Well, maybe we need to get you a PlayStation or something. And no, I won't have enough. And time then you for can that. really get into it because you know <laughs> some of the guys like I know this is big in like Major League Baseball, but they'll use the video game, especially pitchers, to like simulate going I against it. guys. So maybe you just get I believe it. You hire somebody to make it really detailed, yep. and you know, okay, we're you know we're starting off. We're going to see Arizona. You got somebody putting all of Arizona stuff yep. in there, and you can just. Get a couple hours in. It'll probably come to that pretty soon. You're right. Uh, the last thing in terms of kind of video and technology is now you can have the tablets on the sideline yep. with the video and then also in-helmet communication. What? How are you guys kind of handling that and treating yeah, that? Yeah, we've worked the in-helmet communication all through the spring, so we feel comfortable with that. We've got to continue to work on it. The tablets we have not had a chance to even get our hands on, so not quite sure on that one yet. That'll be a work in progress in August. You kind of touched on some of the younger defensive linemen, but what young players have kind of really stood out so far during the summer workouts? It's hard because we're not we're not doing anything with them. You know, they're just truly running around. They're not we're not practicing with them. We can't do that. So um, it, we'll we'll have to wait and see. I know that uh, we've had uh, Josh Hayes had the success two years ago. Marquis Siegel looks to be another NFL guy, and then Jordan Riley has really impressed uh, during his time. So. 
Do you think that this is starting to build like a pipeline of transfer safety? Is that case? Well, we, we try to push it that way without a doubt. I mean, it, it uh, you know, we had Russ Yeast um, and Russ is a starter for the Rams. And then we had Reggie Stubblefield and Reggie had a good career in Canada. And then, then it came Josh Hayes and now it's Siegel and Jordan Riley. Absolutely. Uh, we're trying to use it as best we can because those kids have gone on to play. And then Julius Brents was a transfer as well. Even though he's a corner, um, we've had really good success in the back end. All right, last quick one for you. We've talked about Connor Riley and everything. Matt Wells coming in. What's that been like now that you've had more time with him? Yeah, it was a really good spring uh, with Matt and uh, looking forward to him um, picking up in August again. Once again, this June and July period, you don't get your hands on the players. So, uh, But I'm excited for people to see what we're going to do throwing the football. Awesome. Well, Coach, we appreciate it. Okay, thanks, thanks. guys.